What up guys, DJ back again, and today I've got some more booster pack art sets to show off. Let's take a look. Alrighty guys, we got quite a lot of art sets to go through, but we're gonna start off with the Hidden Fates bad boy. And if you're new to the channel, my name is DJ, and I usually post one video a week. Um, I am trying to collect all the booster pack art sets. So let's get into it. Here we are with Hidden Fates. Um, I'll show you each one and we can have a little chat about it. Obviously this was or is a really popular set and um, it, like it just sold out real quick in Australia and I think everywhere else as well. Um, the arts on these packs are pretty cool too, uh, especially like, you know, the color different, different colors in the Charizard and the Mewtwo. So, um, yeah, obviously representing the shiny Pokemon Shiny Vault set in the mini set in Hidden Fates. Um, I made a, a video that didn't go viral or anything, but like I, I posted a video about Hidden Fates pre-ordering it even before it came out. And um, that's probably like the video that has the most views on my channel, which is uh, quite interesting, I guess, because I've made heaps of videos and that's the only one that... Uh, past the 400 mark. So, um, just saying that that says a lot about this set. Like, uh, even before it came out, it was really everybody wanted it, um, mainly because of this guy, the Charizard. Um, so yeah, now I got this in my collection. These packs are quite hard to find now, and um, each pack was about ten dollars each. So I paid forty dollars, including postage, um, and they actually gave me a bonus pack detective pikachu which is quite funny because i actually bought some detective pikachu packs to go into my sealed collection but thanks so much for that uh ebay seller can't remember the name but that's they gave me that as a bonus which is cool um a bit more about this set so um i don't know when i when i got it i don't know if you can see that it looked like seals of the packs were like tampered with or like you know resealed or sticky tape the, the feelings quite funny there um, it's not just this pack it's um, all these other packs but I have bought from this eBay seller before and they seem to be quite reliable uh, and I have read up on it see can you see what I'm talking about there it's a little bit funny I'll, I'll get another pack here and you can have a look. See the difference. I don't know if it's uh, there. There's the focus between the two. Like that one looks like it's been resealed, or I have no idea what that is. It's like really funky sticky tape, like as if someone cut the pack open and then sticky tape it back, or <laughs> who knows. But um, that has been uh, the question about these packs for quite some time. So uh, just be be wary of that. I don't think these have been tampered with. Um, this one feels quite heavy, so there must be something in there that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, these were, I bought these loose on eBay, so, um, yeah, there's that. It's $40. That's already close to half what I spend a week on my Booster Arts. So moving forward, we've got an art set of Burning Shadows, which I've just showed one of the packs. Um, Burning Shadows and Hidden Fates. Chase card would be the Charizard, and I think everyone kind of just knows it. So there kind of is always a demand for these boosters along with Hidden Fates because of the Chase card. And that's the funny thing, yeah? So with Chase cards, the meaning of Chase card is like, it's the card that people want to chase. That's what they're chasing after. So in this set, I think it's the Hyper Rare Charizard, Rainbow Rare or something like that. So, um... People want that, even if this is an old set, which it, it's not too old. It's Sun and Moon series. It's Burning Shadows. But um, I think it would grow better in price compared to some of the other Sun and Moon sets like Crimson Invasion or something like that. Same with Hidden Fates, um, you know, with a Charizard in there. These packs are already going for $10 each. I think Sun and Moon Burning Shadows you can find for like $7 or something like that. Um, I actually paid $16 for this art set. I found a, um, a seller on Facebook Marketplace or Facebook um, that was selling 
a few art sets. So this is one of them, Burning Shadows, $16 for 8, 12, 16. Um, I've seen his name quite a bit on Facebook. The only thing I would say, um, the way he packaged it, he kind of sticker taped these to cardboard. So um, it was, I didn't really like that. I mean, he was trying to keep the, the packages, you know, like safe and all that, but I wasn't too sure about it. So if you are doing something similar, maybe um, before you buy stuff, that's one tip. Should probably just let them know, put them in uh, something, you know, safe that's not going to get damaged. Because, um, I mean, I'm not really looking for, you know, PSA 10 version. I'm not really grading these packs, but I wouldn't like, you know, sticky tape stuff on the um, the front. Which pretty much leads me to um, the other thing I bought from him. So I bought um, that Burning Shadows art set from him. And then I also bought a Sword and Shield art set from him too, which I'll show off here too. But as you can see, I'll try to see how you hear that. That was a bit of sticky tape. If you go close, you can kind of see the sticky tape where it left some residue there. So um, there's the back. Nothing too fancy, nothing too different. Um, so yeah, there's one artwork. Lapras. Lapras gets another artwork. Can you hear this? So I actually bought some other Sword and Shield stuff, luckily enough, and um, I'll probably open these packs in the channel instead uh, because of, as you can see, you can see the tape there, some residue there. So you, I mean, unless you were opening them, you, I guess I wouldn't really mind, but I was meant to keep these as an art set inside um, a binder and all safe and stuff. So I don't really want to show off in the future something that has like you know a bit of tape on it. So. Uh, it shouldn't be hard to find another Sword and Shield art set. I bought a whole heap of boosters for that because I do miss opening up Pokemon boosters. Um, but yeah, he also charged 16 for this. So all up, the Sword and Shield art set and the Burning Shadows art set was um, 35, including postage. Uh, not too bad. Uh, that's the only thing I would probably say was a bit... Yeah, you know, tacky about the, the tape. But luckily enough, it wasn't any um, an older set where I'd, it'd be hard to find. Sword and Shield is quite common to find now. So um, I'll have other packs and I'll probably open these up later in the channel. And moving on to the last set or second last set. Lost Thunder. I'll, I'll show each one individually. So we got the Celebi there. Not bad. You know, a lot of people have said that um, art sets, like the booster pack art sets themselves, can look quite, you know, look better than the cards. <laughs> which is quite funny. Like, I mean, there is some really cool art sets out there, which hopefully we get to see on the channel. But, you know, art sets like that, Lugia, or even Uh-Oh, or Ho-Ho, or whatever you want to call them, like, those look really cool on a booster pack. And you, need, you don't even have to open up the pack. Like, that's cool in itself. So, I'm looking forward to fill up the binder with a lot of these booster pack art sets. Um, when it's all complete, it's going to look really amazing. Having them all there, all from different sets. Um, I could probably smash out all the Sun and Moon sets real quick. Because um, they're still around. Uh, X and Y might be the same deal as well. It should be pretty easy. Um... Black and white's already getting pretty pricey. Um, so remember, Detective Pikachu, the bonus, uh, going into the last pack. So we got that. By accidentally bought one because I didn't. How was I supposed to know he was going to give me this for free? I bought one by itself. So here it is, Detective Pikachu. This is four additional game cards. So I think that's the pack that you find in the. I don't know. In those boxes, I could be wrong, there might be other packs, but here's the other one that you get from the movie. Two additional game cards. So we got four and two. Um, if there's another pack, I'll find it and I'll put it in with that. So that, that'll make, you know, it's got four pockets, so I'll be able to put maybe doubles of that. So two and then four. Um, I don't know if these will grow in value that much compared to some of the other things. To take it to Pikachu was a cool movie. I did watch it eventually, just not in the cinemas. Um, 
and yeah, obviously these cheaper art sets will have to wait a long time uh, to grow in value of some sort, unless there was some sort of chase card in them, like Burning Shadows or Hidden Fates. I think Hidden Fates is already grown in price. Um, it might like just sit on that price for a while. Um, but you know, if you look at the black and white sets, they're already going for like $20 a piece. Um, out of the art sets that I sh I've got today, so let's quickly go through them. So we got Hidden Fates, Detective Pikachu, we got Burning Shadows, Lost Thunder, and Sword and Shield, which is all sticky tapes. <laughs> so that was probably a little bit the most disappointing thing out of today. But um, out of all these sets, which is your favorite artwork? You know, not as a complete artwork, maybe just one particular thing. Like, it might have to be a, this guy here, the Hidden Fates. Um, and I think that that would probably grow the most in value compared to all these uh, other ones. Because you can only get that from ETB boxes, um, those collection boxes, and the tin. So you, you can't even buy them as single boosters. And there were a few sets like that, like Dragon Majesty... Um, What's the other one? Shining Legends. Those I'm 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 chasing those and they're quite difficult to find. Um, but anyway, so guys, I decided to open up the booster packs um, because they had sticky tape on it. The Sword and Shield ones that I'm talking about. Um, and when I opened them up on the channel or on the camera, it actually deleted <laughs> so I ended up putting it all into a binder just to show you guys um, I was actually quite upset that it deleted itself so uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again but here is what it looks like all these gaps are just the spots that are missing I usually do that for um, when I collect sets because I like to put them in order, that's how I collect. Nothing too crazy from the pools. Uh, no EXs, no GXs. <laughs> well, actually, there wasn't going to be any because there's no such thing in Sword and Shield. There's only V cards, V maxes, and all that new stuff. Chin Chow, Galvantula. Yeah, let me know how you guys collect yours, how you put it in your binder. Uh, this is probably the best card that I got from the packs out of four boosters. It's a reverse rare, so it's not even the, the main card in the set, but it's a Gengar, beautiful card. There's another rare there, Poltergeist. Um, yeah, I've got like, I think 10 binders full of cards. All from different sets. So I'll have to show that one day. There's another reverse rare. I love these reverse to how they look. Yeah. Really sad about not being able to open the packs on camera, which I did. It's just I ended up not recording or something. <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. But I promise you guys, never again. And, uh, hey, at least I opened the packs. These are all the pools. Plenty more to go. I mean, I haven't opened up Sword and Shield yet, so these were the first four boosters. There should be, you know, less than 40 cards because of the, uh, the doubles that you get in the bulk. Finishing up here with some trainers. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys liked the video, uh, and look out for some more podcasts coming soon, uh, some more booster arts, and yeah, like, subscribe, comment, see you next time.